guys so i'm back with another video and in this video i'm going to be talking about uh just a wrap up of my first semester of nursing school how things went for me and hopefully i can help other people out there who are in a program similar to mine so before i start if you see me looking down uh, i just wrote some notes so i'm just a little bit more organized and i'm not rambling all over the place so before i start if you didn't know, I am in a one-year accelerated ADN program. So I started in January, I'll be finished in December, and uh, at the conclusion, I'll be able to sit for the NCLEX and hopefully be able to practice uh, soon after that. So seeing that it's a one-year program, I have to learn what someone who's in a regular ADN program, which is anywhere from two to three years, so I'm taking two to three years worth of coursework and I'm jam-packing it into one year so yes it's an extremely heavy course load so the grading scale for my nursing program is kind of different from some other nursing programs so you know normally a c is like 70 to 79 b is 80 to 89 and an a is so on and so forth so with my program a c is a 77 to an 84 a b is an 85 to a 93 and a 90 and an a is a 93 to a 100 so it's a lot more difficult to achieve the kind of grades that you would normally get if you were just in like a regular college course but so there's that and how my program is broken down because it's only one year is that our first semester we took 21 credits yes 21 credits and so I take 21 credits my first semester I took seven credits over the summer and I'll take the last 14 credits in the fall and that's broken up in okay so the 21 credits was from january to june and then my second semester which is the seven credits is from june to july and the last semester which is 14 credits is from august to december and the way uh, my first semester was split up since that was the one where i took the most credits was i took 10 credits from january to the end of february and then i took 11 credits from March to the beginning of June. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about uh, the first half of my first semester. So I took fundamentals of nursing, I took fundamentals of nursing skills, I took fundamentals of nursing clinicals, and then I took an intro to pharmacology course, which is just like a math course that prepares you for like dosage calculations and things like that which I did really good in because I'm pretty good at math, so that wasn't a uh, difficult course. Um, fundamentals, on the other hand, oh, and I also took health assessment, duh. So uh, health assessment, I really did not like health assessment, not because I didn't like the content, but it was a four-hour class on Fridays, and we ha also had fundamentals lecture, which is a three-hour lecture, so I would literally be in class from nine to five on a Friday. And I hated it, so that's why I just didn't like health assessment. Although, um, that's where we learned how to do our habitual assessments. Um, so fundamentals was, I read a lot for that course. Was it difficult? I think uh, people underestimate fundamentals of nursing. I think people think that, oh, you know, it's not med surge, it's not farm, so it can't be that bad. But if you don't prepare yourself accordingly, you can fail that class. You can fail that class. I unfortunately had to see a lot of my classmates um, not continue on with us because they just underestimated fundamentals. And within my program, um, we also have to take like a benchmark um, Proctor exam. Uh, the one that we take have to see the HESI. And so what what happened was that a lot of people would do well in the actual coursework, so they'd be getting A's and B's on you know the exams that our teachers were writing. But um, the HESI, which is 15% of our uh, course grade, they would score very low or not at all. And because of that, they wouldn't pass the course. So um, you very much have to stay on your toes. You can never get comfortable um, in this program or in nursing school in general. So that's something that I feel has carried me through. So that was fun. That's my dog barking in the background, by the way. There's someone new coming to the house right now. So that was Fundamentals of Nursing Lecture. Um, it was a lot, but I did thoroughly enjoy the course. I spent a lot of time going over material, using online resources, answering a lot of questions, and I do feel like it helped me 
through the program. I ended up getting a B in that class, um, and I'll speak more about my grades uh, later on in the video. But yeah, so that was Fundamentals of Nursing Lecture. Then we had skills, and I all, already had a prior CNA license. Although I never worked as a CNA, I did take the exam, and I've been a licensed CNA for two years, so I knew how to like change a bed, clean a patient, uh, you know, giving a patient a bedpan, things like that, um, taking vitals. And in addition, that's pretty much what we learned in um, Fundamentals to Skills. And we also learned how to like, give an enema, you know, just like really basic things. Um, and then we had Fundamentals to Clinicals. And um, the first part of that, we spent two weeks, sorry, we spent two days in a nursing home, which I did not like. I do not like nursing homes, or at least the experience that I had was pretty unsavory. And then we um, switched to the hospital for the duration of our clinicals, and you know, it was fine. Um, again, we were mostly doing CNA work or PCT work, or you know, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. And in addition to that, we were just mainly focusing on doing the proper um, head to toe assessment on our patients and learning how to give rapport and round and just seeing how um, actual RNs work. So that was skills and then we and then I had intro to farm which is what I said it was a math class it was fairly easy. I don't really know what more to say about that. So that was the first half of my first semester of nursing school. So I got an A in the fundamentals lecture. I got an A in skills. I got a pass for clinicals because um, we do a pass or fail system for our clinical courses in this program. And then for intro to farm, I got an A. So now let's go into the second half of my first semester of nursing school, which was from March to the very beginning of June. And I took four courses. I took medical surgical nursing lecture, medical surgical nursing clinicals, medical surgical nursing skills, and then I took pharmacology. So I'm going to talk about medical surgical nursing first. So I I did enjoy that course. Um, I like med surge. I like what we were learning about. I like learning about the different systems. So, you know, neuro, GI, cardiac, musculoskeletal, the whole shebang. That's pretty much what we learned about and the diseases and disorders that mostly happen and, um, you know, pathophysiology, all the interesting things that you would want to learn as a nurse and what people sometimes look forward to when um, thinking about nursing school. Uh, my favorite system by far was cardiac. I really enjoyed learning about the heart. Um, I would love to work on a cardiac unit and my least favorite was GI. For my medical, for my med surge clinicals, I was working on a uh, urology floor, which, you know, urology, there are a lot of GI issues that happen that cause urology issues. And I really did not enjoy a GI. I didn't enjoy the lecture and I definitely didn't enjoy the clinicals. Although I enjoyed the experiences that I had and I learned a lot and I was able to really grasp the concepts, um, I just don't really care for GI. So that was my clinical experience. And in skills, we learned how to give a Foley, we learned how to hang um, IV bags, we learned trach, su trach suctioning, how to give injections, how to administer insulin. And that was pretty much it and then we had pharmacology so pharmacology is by far one of the hardest classes that i have ever taken it was daunting and the professor that i took pharmacology with made it a point to make her exams extremely difficult uh not straightforward there are a lot of select all that applies and her questions her exams excuse me were not long so um She'd give us like 50 questions, so you could only get a small number wrong to really pass the exam. And it was a nightmare. Like, I didn't get a lot of sleep. I was under so much stress, so much anxiety. And once the class was over, I was on cloud nine. Um, I ended up getting a B, which I'm very proud of, just because that class was extremely difficult. And um, if I were to give any tips or tricks about farm it would have to be a completely separate video because farm was a beast and um, yeah if anyone is about to embark on that course i would just tell you to prepare yourself extremely early maybe it's easier if you take that class um in like longer than eight weeks but i took it in eight did i take it in, might have been 12 weeks whatever the case may be 
I don't I feel like I could have had the class for six months and I still wouldn't um, have had enough time so that's how I feel about farm I'm glad it's over and I look forward to um, never taking that class again with that professor and yeah so that was fun okay so now I'm gonna talk about grades so as far as grades go I was having difficulty um managing A's in my coursework and it was really frustrating because I was getting high B's like I got high B's in fundamentals health assessment and med surge so basically I would walk into the final knowing that I would have to get every single question right on the final to get an A in the class or I could do fairly awful on the final and still get a B and it was very frustrating because it's like you know you're so close but not close enough so I'm trying to readjust my study habits and my skills so that you know in the course that I'm in now and the courses that I'll be taking in the fall I won't have to deal with this anymore now although I'm grateful because I'm still doing well I'm always shooting for an A I want an A um, so that I can further my education but that's how grades are going thus far and I'll keep you guys posted more about this as I continue on that was my first semester of nursing school and overall you know it was very enlightening I feel like I learned so much in six months it's ridiculous like, now I can watch commercials on TV about medications and be like oh my god like I know what that is or I know what that drug can do and what part of the body it affects or you know I can be in the hospital and I can listen to the doctor speak or other nurses speak and I actually can comprehend what they're saying and it's not as foreign to me as it was when I was in fundamentals and I'd walk in the hospital and you know they're throwing out this disorder or this medication I'm like oh my god I don't know what that is so I feel more competent and um, I'm excited to learn more right now I'm halfway through maternal and OB and once this class is over I'll do my second semester wrap-up and before I finish off I'll just tell you how the rest of the semesters are gonna be broken down so um, I started, I had pediatrics from June, well, in June, from the beginning of June to the end of June is when I took peds for the four week course, extremely fast paced. And now I'm in maternal um, child OB, and that's another four week course, which is just pretty much for the month of July. And then we have a three week break. And after that, uh, we have our last semester, so I take psych first for a month, then I take advanced med surge for a month, and then I take, um, oh my god, what is the class called? Leadership, <laughs> sorry. I take leadership, which is pretty much when I'm almost working as an independent nurse, just like the last leg before I take my NCLEX, so I do that the last month of the program. Graduation and pinning is in December, and I hopefully I'll get my APT by the end of January and be able to sit for the NCLEX in February so that's the plan I'm gonna document this journey hopefully a few changes if it does I'll be sure to let you guys know if you have any questions um, or you'd like to see different content on this channel in relation to nursing just go ahead and message me comment below subscribe rate and I also have a blog that corresponds with this YouTube channel um, and I go more into depth on um, other things in relation to my nursing school journey my nursing journey in general so feel free to check that out it's theblacknurse.com i'll leave uh, a link in the description bar below and thanks for tuning in